Victor Larkin, Let's Adopt International, and welcome to the World Animal Awareness Channel. In this channel, you see some of our stories, some of our rescue stories in a complete form, from the beginning to end. Stay and watch it. This is not going to disappoint. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Hi, what you're about to see happened yesterday. I was traveling on a rescue mission and then I received a call. There was an emergency at the pound. I was on the road, so I asked Sandra and Sergio to go and see what was happening. This is what we found. <laughs> We have called him Rio. He's now at the hospital. He has a terrible fracture and it's even more complicated because his bone is exposed and has been exposed for quite a few days now. So guys, we need to save this dog. We need to save him. Please, if you can, help us donate, help us save him.
entramados todo esto. Uh -huh. Y aquí esto es el ganglio popliteo, también lo tiene grandecito. Lo vemos por eco, que es lo que había dicho Nelo y... ¿Te vas a hacer eco también, no? Sí, ah, vale. eco de la, de la pata.
Since Rio arrived to the hospital, he has been operated, he has been treated. We've been battling a multi-resistant bacteria. The amount of things that we've had to do to save this dog is uh, just out of the ordinary. This is a very, very difficult case. And we were expecting that the antibiotic treatment will, will, you know, will start yielding some results. But we have had some problems. Now, please watch this. precisely 24 hours we're gonna go into surgery with Rio. What we are going to do is we're gonna open that leg, we're gonna take out the plates that we have where the bacteria resides. It's impossible to reach that bacteria directly over the plates. So we have to take them out, we have to clean everything and we have to apply this very specific antibiotic directly onto the bone. This is the only chance for Rio to save his leg. We need your help. Please help us save him. Thank you.
Rio was operated last Friday night. Uh, as I said on my appeals, it was now or never. It was the last chance for Rio. If we don't manage to get out this terrible persistent infection that he has, he has a multi-resistant bacteria, and we already we have tried everything. With last surgery, we took out the plates and we applied antibiotic precisely in the place where the infection is, in the bone. Really complex surgery and this is his last chance. If this doesn't work, Rio will lose his leg. But we don't know if it's gonna work or not. For now, just fingers crossed, he is Rio. He had a terrible injury on one of his legs. The leg was broken. It was an open fracture. So we went there, we got him and we took him to the hospital. Initially he was operated. The operation went very well, was successful. Um, then there were some other problems because there was infection on that leg. Remember that the injury was exposed. The bone was exposed. So usually these kind of uh, injuries are really bad to treat. He seemed to be making good progress, but then we realized that uh, the bone wasn't reacting properly, that there was infection inside the bone, and that we had to do something about it. At some point, we thought, well, maybe amputation would be the solution, but we decided to give it one last try. So about three weeks ago, we operated him again, and well, here is Rio. Have a look.
Sorry is doing well. He steps on the leg occasionally, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. There is no, the injury doesn't seem infected. Inside, everything seems to be okay. We're doing x-rays, things look okay so far. Uh, he's not completely out of the woods yet. That was a multi-resistant bacteria that is making things very difficult. But so far, so good. He's fine. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid inflamado es todo esto uh -huh. y aquí esto es el ganglio popliteo también lo tiene grandecito lo vemos por eco que es lo que había dicho en el hoy puedes hacer eco también ¿no? sí
Oi, que guapo. Vamos a comprar un collar a... para este perrillo. Y una preguntita, ¿tienes servicio de peluquería ahora o de lavado?
Pero este arnés tan bonito, ¿de dónde lo has sacado? ¡Ay, qué cosita! ¡Ay, qué cosita! To this video is a happy one, one of the dearest dogs we have rescued in a long time, Rio, a little podenco, a little hunting dog that was rescued from a pound with a terrible injury in one of her legs. Finally, Rio is about to go home. Rio has been adopted in Madrid and tomorrow we'll be taking him home. So, on today's video I wanted to give you an update on what happened after Rio left the hospital. What an incredible dog! Look, remember when we went to the pound, we got him, the leg was completely broken, the bone exposed, he was at the hospital for so long. Really, it was months. We did several surgeries, but in the end, it didn't work. You see, what happens with fractures that are open, that are exposed, is that there usually are a number of bacteria that are multi-resistant to all antibiotics. So we tried everything. We put several plates. In the end, the bacteria won the battle and Rio lost her leg. We tried everything, I assure you, but in the end, it couldn't be done. I wanted to thank you because during this process you supported us, you supported Rio, you really were involved in the whole process. But in the end we just couldn't win and Rio lost his leg. After he left the hospital he went into a foster home. And I tell you, in that family he's had such a beautiful time, unbelievable. There were some things that still needed to be done and he had to go back to the hospital a couple of other times for small procedures. But in that home, really, he, he bloomed. His character is fantastic. This is such a funny dog. Today I wanted to give you an update on what has happened since he left the hospital. This has been Rio's life at his family home. ¿Qué pasa aquí? ¿Quién ha traído aquí? 
y las sábanas. ¿Eh? Malo, oye. That has been Rio's life in his foster home. Now, tomorrow morning, very early in the morning, we will start the trip. We will go to Madrid by road from Valencia and we will be delivering him to his final family. Great people, they've waited for so long and we are really honored to deliver this doggy to that beautiful family. So, that was an update. This trip is happening tomorrow. We will keep you posted. Thanks a lot for being here and please don't forget that everything we do here is only possible thanks to your help, your donations, your involvement. So please, if you can, donate. Help us continue saving lives like Rio. We'll see you tomorrow. Please donate, we need you. Take Rio to Madrid. Let's go. Vámonos. And so we are now halfway. Another two hours to go to deliver Rio to his beautiful home. For those of you that are new and you know who Rio is, Rio is this dog that we rescued nearly a year ago. Rio was found at a pound with a terrible injury on one of his legs. The bone was exposed. He was in so much pain. We took him to the hospital. We began treatment. Unfortunately, Rio had a, a really complex infection with a multi-resistant bacteria. Still, we went ahead. We tried to fix that leg. We operated him three times in total. In the end, the bacteria made everything fail. The plates that we put, we had to take them out. Infection persisted. In the end, poor Rio lost his leg. After he left the hospital, Rio went to a foster home where he had an incredible time, seriously. And that dog really enjoyed his life so much. But uh, it was time to go home. We found him a beautiful family in Spain, in the country, about a four and a half hour drive, something like this. And uh, they have another dog. They have a dog that is very similar to him. And both of them are gonna have an incredible time. Incredible time. So I can't wait, I can't wait to get there. He's gonna be so happy, really. Over the next few days, you're gonna see me or you're gonna see us because I'm traveling with Sergio and sometimes with my brother. You're gonna see us on the road quite a lot. There are a number of animals that are going home. As you know, because of COVID-19, we are having a severe backlog with our animals at the White House, in the Pink House, but we can deliver the animals that are being adopted in Spain. Tomorrow after tomorrow, 
we'll be going on another trip to deliver Sara to her beautiful home in the north and then we also have a kitty that is supposed to go home plus we have Duna that is gonna fly in Spain to the Canary Islands it's gonna be delivered there as well so it's gonna be a really really busy week a couple of days ago I made a video asking for your help we need to break this backlog that we have at the moment we have uh, dogs that are supposed to fly to the States and to Europe those ones can't fly at the moment but we can make a bigger effort in delivering these animals to the home within Spain and that's what we are doing right now the COVID-19 pandemic is uh, is changing the way we have to work. It's a very challenging uh, moment, I'm afraid. But I promise you, we're gonna do our best and we're gonna be continuing saving lives. And, you know, so many things happen at the same time. Just last weekend, two animals went to the UK. Then on the weekend as well, we saved two little puppies in the south of Spain. One of them has a severe malformation on one of his legs. Seriously. There's so much going on at the moment. There's so much. Thank you for being here and really thanks for your help. And one thing, don't forget, if you like our work, if you like what we do, just smash the like button. Help us uh, grow as a channel and bring new viewers, new adopters and new donors. Help us spread our videos. Click the like button, comment. This is gonna send a message to the YouTube algorithm and it's gonna make our videos more visible. And something else, this weekend, Romeo, our beautiful Romeo, is going to France, he's also being adopted, and he's gonna go to France, we can do that trip. So happy, Romeo is gonna live in a beautiful, beautiful place, uh, about three hour drive from Paris, can't wait, can't wait. I don't think I will be able to go to that trip, but Sergio and my brother will deliver him. Really good, so happy. So that's it, we're nearly there. Arganda, we received pictures uh, while we were traveling, and apparently the dog there is waiting for Rio. He's looking at the, looking at the terrace, can't wait. That's it, we are home. Hola chicos, hombre! So this is Lira. This is gonna be Rio's sister. And they already met each other because the family went to Valencia to meet them. It was a pleasure running away with you. This is Rio's passport. Ahí tenéis el pasaporte de Rio. Muchas gracias, Rio. Sí, te hemos esperado vale. bastante vale. tiempo, Rio. It amazes me that we didn't fall. What a great adoption! Look at this. They're even like they're like brother and sister. It's gonna be so happy. Now they keep us on speaking terms. We grow and we learn. I have no regrets, only forget. A big thank you to life. ¿Y qué, qué me escribiste? ¿Me escribiste una carta? Sí, un email. Sí, pues un, email. un email. 
muy chiquitito. Muy chiquitito. Escribís una cartita sí. normal, sí, contándome un poco sobre vosotros. En Río, sí. tenemos otra podenca. Este y es su, pusisteis fotos de su ella. Instagram, sí, tú, si tú, quieres tiene verla. Instagram. ¿Tiene Instagram? Sí. Joder. Entonces yo cogí, me fui a Instagram, sí. vi las fotos de ella sí. y dije, no, no. Y nos si, ella, a las dos horas. si ella tiene Instagram, <risa> eh, yo quiero que Río tenga Instagram. <risa> So we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna see that everything is okay in the house, that Rio is happy, he has his own place, whatever. We're gonna make sure that he's happy and then we will go. Usually this is our, our first visit uh, to the home. It doesn't require much protocol, but just, you know, it's a nice, nice little delivery touch. Al segundo. Ah, qué casa más chula, míralo, se va. ¡Chup! Río, ¿qué tal? ¿Ya tienes casa? Mira. Mira. Ahí está haciendo pi. ¡Ay, qué bien! Río, ¿qué es esto? No, no, olvídate, trae un cubo, vamos. Pero qué dice. Qué fuerte. They have, a, they have a camera in the house, so when when they are not in the house, you can see what they are doing. <laughs> ¿Vale? Es una vida good dog. Se queda, es una vida. Eh, no sé, la, la bueno. me viene Rooney me gastó. Gracias, thank you. Thanks a lot. Para lo que queráis, sí, estamos aquí. Igualmente nosotros. Vale. Adiós, Río. Adiós. So, Río is home, and now we are going to a city nearby called Getafe. We're going to do something very important, but you're going to see this on the next video. For now, thank you very much for your help. Thanks for everything you've done for Río, everything you've seen here can only happen if we have your help and support. So Rio's rescue, the surgeries, the rehabilitation, the months of treatment, everything, even this trip to deliver him home can only happen if we have your help. So please, please, if you can, donate. Help us continue saving lives. And don't miss tomorrow's video. You're gonna love it. See you tomorrow. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come. Sit, subscribe, and stay a while.